matchmaking can be such a glamorous thing from the outside. When people ask us well, what was the hardest part, now we see new matchmakers starting and it's obviously the database, getting people, like single people together. We realized that if we just took on a guy or a girl that most people want to date, then it wouldn't be that hard. That's what like the light bulb came on. I'm like, oh yeah, see? So you don't need that many people. You do need that many people to start off, but then you don't at the same time. The more people got in the database, we started seeing, oh, okay, this age group tends to date this, and then when they're a guy, there's tendency here, and then when they're women, it's more of a tendency here, and if they want kids, and they don't want kids. So then it becomes obvious today when someone comes in and tells us, well, I'm this age, and I want this and this in my life. We're like, I don't have enough of those people. I don't think you're gonna be happy, and that's okay. You, you shouldn't hire me, or at least you should hire me knowing that I don't have a lot of these people. Unless you want me to recruit them, I will. I think when we first started, it was a lot of, oh my gosh, let's fall back on what we know about customer service, which is the customer is always right and you want to get high marks, you know, but because this is such a personal, personalized service and you're dealing with people's emotions and you want the best outcome for them, then over the years, like I have become more and more honest, just not even it's not like you don't tell them the real thing from the beginning. We still told them, but we told them in such a diluted manner. But now we've been doing it long enough, we can say, hey, this is where it's gonna go down if you do not change your dating behaviors now. Like, I don't need you to go on three more dates to see if three more women are gonna say the same thing about you. Basically, I already see the writing on the wall and you fit this prototype of a guy. So I might even tell you when you're meeting with me, before you become a client even, and say, hey, let me walk you down these expectations. And you, we can test out my theory as we work together, or you can kind of know that you need to change a little bit um, and it will make your experience more productive. They come to us because they really realize they've been doing something um, for so many years on their own and it hasn't worked out and they've tried a lot of different resources, so therefore, hey, I'm the common denominator. Maybe you should tell me, Katie, if there's something I should be maybe tweaking or is there something I don't understand about the women. We're really saying, hey, guess what? I want the best for you, and you know, this is what I'm seeing. Isn't there a voice in you that believes the same? And they're like, okay, you're right. You know what, fine. Or they don't want to listen to you or they don't appear that they're listening to you, but then sometimes they go on the date and they change their behavior already. So I'm like, okay, I'll take that. <laughs>